Alrighty, now that it's still October, I wanted to do another Fright Night 2011 related video. And I gotta tell you, I love this character of Amy so much more than Amanda Bierce. I think Imogen Poots did, just did a great job. Because uh, I gotta say, they're is legit more to this character that I see in this in this version. You see her eyes. You see, you know, there's the look. There, even in the beginning, there's something with Amy. If it's vamp, the vampire, or that's possessing her, or just her being this troubled character that really she like I agree with uh, the ones that do like this that are in the same boat as me you know the same bandwagon she sees it she believes Charlie the original it is to you know like I, I hate this with you know, like bashing stuff that I really like but on it's something that they really like you know I guess it's just what makes the world go round but with this character there's just something her version of this the image and Poots version there's more of a um likable quality to her that I actually felt bad for and I really I still think she does something to Charlie at the end. And Charlie just digs with it. Like, I still believe that stuff. Um, and this is, like, why I, I'm not a fan of the sequel. You know, I really don't care with the sequel. I know a lot of people have done their own things and said oh it's way better than the no it's not it's not real it's not a good movie it tried so hard to be just it, it's one of those movies where you replace people like anton yelchin chin you know anton yelkin and imogen poots with two very bland actors and it just you know, it was just everyone's all, oh, had rela like they had a relationship, they had chemistry. Not really. The true relationship and chemistry is in this movie. Um, I can see it with in the eighty five version because I don't want to bash a lot of people with that, but I see it more in this. It's my opinion. So. Yeah.